You're watching Lynn TV. I'm Lucy Robson with this week's main stories. The Cypriot and Israeli foreign ministers discussed shared development and exploitation of hydrocarbon deposits off the Cyprus coast. The two countries are in the final stages of negotiations. And this week the International Monetary Fund projected that Cyprus's economy would shrink by 1.2% in 2012 and will grow by 0.8% in 2013. And a meeting between tourism chiefs and Pavos taxi drivers took place today following claims of overcharging from tourists. Visitors have complained that local taxis charge extortionate rates and don't use their meters as required by law. Meanwhile, the Pavos Taxi Drivers Association told Lynn TV that it thinks the authorities are not clamping down on illegal taxi operators which are undermining their trade. And the Lord Mayor of the City of London will travel to Cyprus for a three-day visit next week to prepare for the forthcoming rotation of the European Presidency from Denmark. The Lord Mayor will be using the visit as an opportunity to speak with a number of high-level Cypriot policymakers, civic leaders, businesses and trade associations. Cyprus takes over the EU Presidency in July. And finally, the owners of a beached cargo ship and salvagers are close to an agreement on how to proceed with the removal of the vessel which ran ashore near Ios Yorgos last December. The Edro 3 cargo vessel was beached en route from Limassol to Rhodes in bad weather at dawn on December 8th. The Department of Merchant Shipping told Lynn TV that it is likely that the ship will be refloated and towed to a scrapyard abroad. Well, that's all for this week's news roundup. John is again on Monday for a fresh update of local news.